It has been raising a lot of questions since we first brought it to you yesterday at 5. In this day and age of heightened security, how could a rail car accidentally roll across the upper tracks of the Whirlpool Bridge without anyone seeing a thing? No one investigates like News 4. Luke Moretti is digging deeper into this story tonight. Luke? Yeah, we know that a camera caught it rolling across the bridge because we have the video. And tonight, agencies on both sides of the border are trying to figure out how to prevent it from happening again. It was the unexpected. The thought of it happening, you know, never really crossed anybody's mind. Niagara Falls Bridge Commission spokesperson Brent Gallagher is talking about a runaway rail car that crossed the Whirlpool Bridge on August 12th. It went undetected at the international border crossing for several hours. Way out of left field. News 4 obtained this video from the Bridge Commission. It shows the empty rail car crossing the bridge at around 1.30 in the morning. Here is another view of it from the Canadian side. Once that mass gets moving, yeah. you know, it, it's, it moves. And it doesn't have to move fast, it just moves. A CSX spokesperson says the empty rail car broke loose from its yard in Niagara Falls, New York. It then traveled down the tracks, crossing the Whirlpool Bridge, finally coming to a rest near a rail station on the Canadian side. That's a distance of nearly two miles. What, what is the, uh, the commission's uh, big concerns about this? Well, uh, that uh, the big concern is one, that it happened. That's a big concern. Uh, and uh, now we're, we're working with the agencies and CSX to make sure that it doesn't happen again. A CSX spokesperson says the incident is being treated as an act of vandalism and remains under investigation. According to the U.S. Border Patrol, an alarm went off around the time the rail car passed over the bridge. Our agents responded to the bridge and to look for anyone crossing into the U.S. Uh, they looked through the area, the surrounding area they canvassed, couldn't identify anybody coming across. Michael Scioli says U.S. Border Patrol agents were told by a CSX employee that it was a rail car that came from the Niagara Falls yard. By that time, the two-level vehicle carrier was already on the Canadian side. Yeah, at that point, I mean, it was CX, CSX's uh, investigation, so uh, they were starting to notify everybody, um, at least from my understanding. But as we now know, it would be several hours before Canadian authorities and the Niagara Falls Bridge Commission became aware of it. We learned, I know not to diminish it, uh, and quite frankly, it wasn't seen as a huge threat, and now we're, we're addressing it. The Bridge Commission has already taken some steps to beef up video security.